how to get patent pending. There are multiple ways to do it. Some are very expensive, some are very low cost. And which one you use depends on your circumstances, where you're at. The first way to do it is to file a 20 year patent. The average costs are seven to $20,000. It will take a registered patent attorney about one to two weeks to draft and file a patent. And then once that's done, you can put patents pending on your marketing materials. On average, they take about 22 months to be approved. And then once it's approved, you no longer put patent pending on your marketing materials. It's patented and you can put the patent number there as well. Really, you should do a lot of testing before filing a 20 year patent because they're so expensive. Um, and they also can't be updated. You know, it's very likely between now and when your invention is finished and launched and selling, you're going to improve it and tweak it as you go through prototypes, as you talk to your manufacturers, you talk to your customers, you're gonna come up with lots and lots of ways to improve the invention, to make it better, to better solve people's problems. And you want to integrate all these improvements. It's wonderful feedback. It's what makes your invention shine. Now, if you filed a 20 year patent, and it can't be updated, what do you do? Do you throw away all those improvements just to maintain your patent? Or do you keep filing a new 20 year patent every time your invention changes? Neither of those strategies are great. Actually, they're pretty bad. What's more practical, while you're still in that iteration phase of improving and testing, is file a provisional patent application. And the result is the same, in the short term at least. Um, you can put patent pending on your marketing materials for 12 months. Uh, the filing fee is just $75 and it's a greatly simplified application. You can just file them online and uh, it's really quick and simple. There's several ways to get patent pending and if you're still in the early stages, the testing phases, the planning phases, doing product design, prototyping, market testing, manufacturing testing, etc, etc, file the provisional patent application. And then the wonderful thing about these is that they can be updated and refiled. Every time you come up with an important improvement, every time you discover a way to do your invention better, update your provisional patent with that change and then refile it through the exact same process. And then when you file a 20 year patent, all of those provisional patent applications get hoovered up and uh, it, into the one application. So it's a much more flexible process and you can still put patent pending on your marketing materials. I hope this helps. Best of luck with your invention.